Managing pre-orders for large catalogs can be a complicated task. Hotwax Commerce helps to automate pre-order and back-order management using purchase orders and by automatically listing and delisting the products. Hotwax Commerce is able to automate this process in an effective way. In this demo video, we will have a look at complete flow of Hotwax pre-order management. We will start the process by importing the product data from Shopify into Hotwax Commerce during the initial setup. Here you can see that this is our product screen in Hotwax Commerce and you can see that currently no products exist in the Hotwax system. Products will be imported into Hotwax using our job manager app. So this is our job manager app which is designed by Hotwax that helps the user to manage the scheduled job easily. Scheduled jobs helps to sync the data between Hotwax and Shopify. So once I log in here in the job manager app, you can see here in job manager, we do have a support for initial load for products and orders. So you can see that uh, this is a support for import products in bulk from uh, Shopify into Hotwax and this is for the orders. Now we will schedule the job by clicking here on import products in bulk and you can see that it gives an option to schedule this uh, import products in bulk job. So we'll click here on select runtime, we'll select the job time and we'll click on run import. Now you can see that it is showing that the service has been scheduled. Once it is scheduled, you need to go to the pipeline and here you can see that the job is in the pending state which is about to run in around 27 seconds. Once it will be running, you can find it in the running state, running tab basically and after the job is finished, you can see its detail in the history tab. So now all you need to do is wait for the job to complete. Usually it takes about 15 minutes to import a fresh catalog from Shopify. Once the job is complete, you will find all the Shopify products in Hotwax Commerce here in the product screen. It's around 15 minutes and the job is complete. So we will refresh the product find page in Hotwax Commerce to verify whether the products have been imported in bulk or not. So I will just go to the refresh icon here and we'll refresh the screen. It's just asking for the login. So I will just log in. And now you can see that here the products have been successfully imported from Shopify into Hotwax and you can see all the list of the products that have been there on Shopify are now in Hotwax Commons. Now, as we said earlier, Hotwax Commons will automate pre-order and back order management using the purchase order. So first, we will need to import the purchase order in Hotwax using our import app. So this is our import app that we will use to upload the purchase order in Hotwax. Here you need to upload the PO file that you have received from your supplier. Hotwax provide the feature to upload the purchase order in any format and once it is uploaded you can map the required fields to the Hotwax template. So we'll just upload a file here. Now you can see that the file has been uploaded successfully. We'll start the mapping. We can map the order ID with the external ID, the Shopify products queue with the products queue, arrival date. We do have an option to map it with arrival date, order quantity, the quantity, and the facility ID. The facility ID. Now we can review the catalog here by clicking on review and you can see that uh, it will sh show you the details of the purchase order that I have uploaded. So in this PO which I am uploading, I have added three items uh, with the three different SKU, each of five quantity and their expected arrival date of 28th July. 
Now here you do have an option to add the buffer days and order buffer. Basically, uh, retailers do require uh, buffer days as buffer allows a grace period for late stock arrivings. So here I will just add buffer days as 5. So right now as we expect that it's 20th of July, the buffer days will show the ETA as 25th of July. Now we do have an order buffer in cases where we need uh, to have some excess amount of stock on hand just in case uh, to like plan the inventory shortage so we'll just add the order buffer as uh, one for time being now by default it shows the back order if you want to change it you can just select the catalog whether you want to take it as pre-order for any new product launch or back order for any existing item so we'll select the pre-order here and the facility id so you need to select the facility that the po shipments are expected to arrive at so for time being we do have one facility here so we'll just select it and you need to apply these changes so you can see that it has been applied and we have added the order buffer as one so that's why it is showing four ordered now and as i said that the buffer days are five so it's like 28th july instead of uh, that we do have uh, 25th of july so now i will just upload the reviewed catalog data to etsy and we can up view the upload logs as well using the view button so it's just asking for a confirmation thing that make sure all of your data have entered in correct format and we upload it and when i click on the view toast here we can see the upload logs so this is the po that i have just uploaded in the system and you can see that it is showing the status as finished that means that our po has been successfully uploaded in the system so now we do have a section uh, of procurement in hotwax commerce under which we do have a purchase order where we can find all the purchase order in the system so as you can see that uh, we do have that po and yeah it can be seen that it was having three items with their arrival date and each with four quantity and it is in the created status right now so in this way we can upload the purchase order in the system first now all the three items that you are seeing uh, in this purchase order for all of them on Shopify you can see that there is no inventory exist like you can see for the first one which is Grace and crew neck sweatshirt for the SKU with extra small and orange size you can see that it is sold out so out of all three uh, what we are going to do first we are going to make one out of this three as in stock and later on we will just go ahead to uh, build the pre-order categories uh, for the remaining one so whenever you wanted to receive any purchase order in hot wax commerce first you need to approve the purchase order so we'll click here on approve now you can see that uh, you do have a uh, option uh, for receive so we'll just go on the receive and uh, for the first one currently I'm just receiving uh, on a specific location and facility I can just uh, receive the quantity either completely or uh, by batch so I will just uh, accept four complete for time being and we'll just skip the two and we'll click on receive So you can see that I have received all of them. So the quantity received is showing four. There is no rejections made right now. So it is showing the quantity rejection as zero. So when I come here again, currently you can see for the Grayson Crewneck sweatshirt, the received quantity is showing zero. I will just refresh the page here. And now we expect that for the first uh, item, the receive quantity should be changed to 4. So yeah, you can see that the re received is 4 like we have accepted the 4 quantity and for the rest of the one it's 0. So 
we expect that this item should be in stock now as it is having inventory in the system and the rest too based on the PO should be part of our pre-order categories. So now we will see that using job manager how first we need to build our pre-order categories so that when the scheduled job will run uh, in that case uh, the last two that is the Oslo track hoodie and the Stark fundamental hoodie should be in our pre-order category and this one should be treated as a normal purchasable order said earlier now we will go to the job manager here in the job manager we do have a section for pre-order from which we can manage uh, our pre-order or back order categories and also we can schedule the jobs so here under the pre-orders uh, we do have use POS to manage catalog uh, this will help us uh, to manage the pre-order uh, using the purchase order so we will check this checkbox similarly to add tags in Shopify we need to check this uh, for removing the tags in Shopify, if an item is uh, out from the pre-order category in Hot Wax Commerce, uh, then for that particular uh, item, we need to remove the tags from Shopify. So we will check this to have that uh, functionality. Then uh, for adding the shipping dates in Shopify, this is a service that will add the shipping dates uh, for the item which is on pre-order in Shopify. So we'll check this. And for removing the shipping dates in Shopify, once it is out from the pre-order category, we need to check there. So we have scheduled all the pre-orders uh, job. Uh, similarly, for orders, uh, for importing the orders uh, in Hotbox Commerce, uh, we will go to the orders section and uh, we will enable this. Uh, we'll select the runtime for importing the new orders. So we can make it for like uh, every five minutes. Mm -hmm and uh, we'll just uh, schedule it for uh, let's make it for four basically great okay so we will have the job that will import all the new orders from shopify into hot wax in every five minutes so we'll just save the changes and here in the inventory section uh, we need to enable the inventory sync so we'll go to the hard sync that will help uh, for performing the sync from hot wax commerce to shopify uh, and uh, we will just uh, make it early and we'll schedule the run time to we will just select today's date with the time and uh, we will save this so in every hour uh, uh, sync will run uh, for pushing the inventory from hot wax commerce uh, to shopify now we will wait we can go to the pipeline and we can see that the jobs have been scheduled and uh, in we will wait for some time uh, until this job will execute and once the job will ready uh, here in uh, hot wax commerce we do have a categories uh, like for pre-order categories and back order category right now we have uh, scheduled the job for pre-order categories so here we expect that as soon as the job have been scheduled we can see that uh, the two items for which the inventory is still zero in the system for them the items have been there in the pre-order category and the one which was the Grayson Crew next set shirt uh, it is not here in the pre-order category as for it the inventory do exist in the system so for the item for which we have received the PO inventory in the system, which is a Grace and Crew Neck Sweatshirt Extra Small Orange, we can see that when we will go to the inventory page of this product in Hot Wax, so you can see that the online ATP is 4 for uh, this uh, item and it is eligible to take uh, 4 orders. And when we go to the Shopify PDB page for the same item we can see that it is now available for add to car so what we will do that we will place a order quickly for the in stock item here i'm just going to place the order
So now uh, we will wait for the order to be imported into hot wax. There is a scheduled job uh, which we have scheduled for ev in every five minutes that will import the order uh, in hot wax. And uh, currently we have placed it for only one. So we expect that uh, the inventory for the item should be three after the order is imported. So we can see now that the order which we have placed has been imported into hot wax formers. Meanwhile, I have also placed another order that is order 1424 with the quantity of the same item. And you can see that there are total four quantity item that has already been placed again this SQ. So now when we check the inventory of the same product in hot wax formers, you can see the, that the online ATP is zero. And when I go to the Shopify PDP page for the same item, you can see now that it is sold out. As the product is out of stock, the next time the categories load jobs are run, this product will also be in the pre-order category. You can find this product in the pre-order category. Uh, so here in Hot Wax, uh, we do have the categories uh, for pre-orders and back order. Here we are just managing the pre-order category. So we'll just go here. And you can see that uh, all these uh, items uh, for which the inventory is not available but the PO exists in the system, uh, you can see that they have been there in the pre-order category. Uh, the from date here indicates uh, when the product was was added in the catalog and the two date uh, represents the expected arrival date of the product uh, which we have passed in the purchase order. Uh, two date is also what display on the Shopify PDP to the customers. Now uh, we expect uh, that uh, for this product uh, on Shopify uh, we should have a pre-order tag added to the item and uh, the variant should have also the meta field uh, populated. So we will just go to Shopify again for the products and we'll check it. Now for any of the item when we go to Shopify uh, we can see that uh, we do have a pre-order tag applied for the product and when we go to the variant you can see that uh, the inventory policy is checked for this item and also uh, we can see that uh, the meta fields have been populated for this variant when i go to the storefront uh, i can see that now this item is available for pre-order and uh, it is having the assigned promise date for it that is 25th of july the shift from date here should be the earliest arrival PO date in hot wax and based on it, it will manage here. So in this way, we have seen that how pre-order management is done in hot wax commerce in an efficient and in an automatic way. If you have any questions, please let us know.